In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open the task manager on a Chromebook so that you can see what's running on your Chromebook, how much of your Chromebook's resources everything's using, and force something to stop running if you need to. The easiest way to open task manager is with a keyboard shortcut. On your Chromebook's keyboard, just press the escape key and the search or launcher key here. Some Chromebooks will have a search key, other Chromebooks will have a launcher key with a circle icon. Or if you have a very new Chromebook, it might be this G key at the bottom of the keyboard here, but it's really the same key. So just press whichever one your Chromebook has and the escape key at the same time, like that. And then on your screen, the task manager will appear. And all of these tasks are actually split into separate categories. So we can see up the top here, we have tabs and extensions, which are any Chrome tabs, so any websites you have open in Chrome, or any extensions you have running in Chrome and Chrome apps and things like that. So there is actually quite a bit in here that might not just be the few tabs you have open, but this is all directly Chrome related stuff. And then we also have system over here, which is things like the Chrome browser itself and other more advanced system based things that are used to make the Chromebook run. And this is also where you would see any Android apps that you might be using. So if you're coming in here looking for a very specific task, you can probably work out which category it's going to be in and look for it in that specific category. But most of the time to me would just click on all tasks here. So then it shows you absolutely all the tasks together and you don't have to worry about which category you're in. But now, whichever category you want to look in, you'll just see a list of all the tasks that are currently running on your Chromebook. And you can choose how you want to sort this list. So right now, by default, it's sorted by CPU usage. So the CPU is the processor in your Chromebook that basically makes everything run. And we can see right now the Chrome browser is using about 12% of that CPU's total capacity. And all these tasks are sorted from highest to lowest in terms of how much of the CPU they're currently using. So as you can see, the CPU usage changes constantly. So all these tasks will be jumping up and down around in the list, depending on how much they're using at that very second. So it will be kind of hard to look at the list while it's sorted this way, but it can give you a good idea of basically which tasks are taking the most effort for your Chromebook to run. And you can stop or stop using any of these tasks if you need to, or, we can click on memory footprint here and sort it by the memory usage. So this is the memory or RAM usage. Things won't be jumping around as much in here, but now you can see the Chrome browser is using that much RAM or memory. And then we have Google Docs, Google Drive, and so on like that. So we can see how much RAM each task is using, which can be certainly helpful at times. And you can also sort by network here. And there's not much really going on with the network right now. But if you were currently uploading or downloading some big file in an app or website or something, you would see that app or website or whatever it is with a fairly large network usage there. This is basically just how much internet data the each task is currently using. And Aside from all that, you can also just click on task over here and sort everything by name. So it's all alphabetical and you can click it to sort it the opposite direction if you want. But by sorting it this way, clicking on it like that means nothing's jumping around. And this can be very helpful if you know exactly what task you're looking for and you just want to scroll through and find it. You can sort it alphabetically and then you'll know where you need to scroll and you can find it a bit more easily. And using the task manager, you can also force a task to stop running if you need to. 
So if you see something in here that's using way too much CPU or memory, and you really don't think it needs to be running, you can just click on that task. So we'll find a good example somewhere. Not the GPU process, that's essential for the screen. Let's just find one that won't matter. There we go, the Tech Time with Timmy website. We can click on that task here, and then just click this End Task button down here, and that will end the task. So it will stop it from running at all and close it completely. And this can also be helpful if you ever have an app or something that's just completely frozen and won't even let you close it, or it just isn't working right in any way, or you've even tried to close it, but it still keeps running when you really don't want it to, you can come in here and find that app, wherever it may be in here, and force it to stop running by clicking End Task. But then when you're done with the Task Manager, you can simply close it by clicking the cross in the top right hand corner, just like closing any other app. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we might see you in another one in the future.